doesn't love a good packing tape hack? I've got a bunch today that I want to share with you today. These can all be incorporated into your crafting projects. We've got lots of work. Let's get playing with some packing tape. The first thing I'm going to show you is how you can create chippy vintage looking wood with packing tape. This is a fantastic hack. This is just a piece of pine. I haven't painted the back yet to show you. Of course, look at already covered in black. I've put one coat of black chalk paint on the top and then we're going to get just a candle. This is just a vintage candle that I picked up at the um, thrift store. I buy them by the bag because I use them lots and we're just going to take that candle and just go all around the edges anywhere where it would naturally age rub that candle wax in really aggressive you want to really get lots of candle wax on that now you're going to take some white chalk paint and paint right over top of that candle wax put a good amount on you want it pretty thick what we're trying to do is achieve a vintage old looking piece of wood something that has naturally aged over the years and give something a little bit more character so this is my homemade chalk paint it's a fantastic recipe if you've never made homemade chalk paint you need to check out that video i'll put that link below in the description because uh, it's really affordable store-bought chalk paint can be really expensive so this is a really great alternative now I'm just gonna set this aside and let it dry completely. Okay, this is now completely dry. Here's our packing tape pack. We're gonna take the packing tape and lay it right on the wood. This is a fantastic technique to use if you don't want a mess, you don't want to sand in your house, you don't want to, um, it just, it just eliminates that whole mess of sanding and it gives a really great effect to the wood just with a little bit of packing tape. So I'm just going to lay that right along the piece of wood here. Let me know down in the comments where you're watching from. This is so fun when we're doing these videos and seeing how people are from all over the world crafting together and joining me here. I think it's kind of fascinating. I've had people from every corner of the world on some of these videos watching and it's neat for us to go back and read and see where you all are. Okay, so credit card or some sort of a card or scraper. Really scrape it really hard into that packing tape and then you're going to peel it away and look at it's taking some of that paint off and giving a real chippy vintage look just with packing tape. And of course, every piece is going to be different. See, this one's taking big chunks out of here, which is okay. That's what I want. I want a real vintage look for my piece of wood. Some are gonna be a little bit less than others. And you can always go back Scrape into that really well. And anywhere where there was candle wax, that paint is not going to stick that well. Now see how authentic does that look? It doesn't look like it's been, you know, manufactured. It actually looks like an old piece of wood. Now what I like to do next is you can go in with a piece of sandpaper and sand around the edges to give it a little bit more of a look but you don't have to get out your great big palm sander and you can see how it gives a really great vintage look and you can get aggressive as you want or not sand it at all it's just kind of whatever you're looking for for your project this can be done on furniture on signs on anything that you're painting and it also works, you don't have to use acrylic paint, it'll also work, or latex paint, it'll also work with acrylic paint. That's how easy. So I've got another piece here, and I've already done the candle wax on this one. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And sometimes it's a good idea to maybe warm that wax up a little bit. That helps give it even more of a vintage look. We'll just warm it up a little bit. And 
And let's get this packing tape going again. Lay it right in. Now you can use packing tape from the stationery store, dollar store. They all work really well. I haven't found one that doesn't work. So if you can find a cheap alternative to packing tape, go for it. It'll work really well. And we're going to take our card and rub in really hard. Make sure you stick through to the end after you see this one because I've got some really great other packing tape hacks that you don't want to miss that are great for your DIY projects. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is always fun. It's always like a mystery. What's going to happen? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? This one's just going to... It took a little bit off. Not as much as I wanted. Oh, there's some there. That looks good. So this one just took off little bits and pieces, but then again, that just makes it look more authentic. Take your sandpaper, rough it up around the edges. Now what I'm gonna do with these is I'll turn them into um, probably little shelf sitters or signs. They're my best sellers. I never can make enough of them. So that's probably what I'll do with that. So yeah, so there, that's a really great piece. And you can see there's like hardly any mess at all. And we've created a chippy wood finish. Now this one is one that I did earlier and I turned it into a sign using my Mod Podge reverse graphics. And I wanted to show you that you can make signs on top of this wood that we've distressed with packing tape. This was a graphic that I printed off on my laser jet printer, making sure to reverse the text on regular paper. I've got all kinds of tutorials on this method on my channel, but I'm sure if you've been here for a while, you have seen me do this. One of my favorite ways to make signs and graphics on my DIY projects. So I'm just wetting it with a little bit of water and rubbing off the paper and we're left with a graphic underneath and you can see so this one I also did that chippy paint technique with the packing tape I did a yellow and then I painted over top of it with like a turquoise and isn't that great we're just gonna rub off that paper this is just a technique that takes a little bit of practice but if you can master it, the possibilities are endless. And you can actually, like I did, I started my whole business around this technique of graphic transfers, selling signs locally, making a little bit of extra money that then evolved into me teaching you here on YouTube how to do it yourself, that you can turn this technique into your own business if you want to, or just to do some crafting with it. Okay. And I love this graphic. This graphic's available in my Etsy store. If you want to check that out, I'll put the link down below in the description and uh, you can look it up on my Etsy store. And these are all downloadable, printable. One of the files are already reversed, ready to go. So you can do this technique. So there was a piece of wood that I distressed with a piece of packing tape, did my Mod Podge graphics on top and turned it into a sign. I would probably drill a hole in the top corners here, put a piece of twine, and then you can hang it up in your garden shed or on the patio. I love it. Next packing tape hack is a great one to do with kids. This is so much fun and they can make their own bookmark and they also make really great gifts that kids can give too. Or you can make these and incorporate them into your um, junk journaling, your scrapbooking, your mixed media projects. So many possibilities. So I've just taken a piece of packing tape, sticky side up. I've stuck it to the table and I just have a whole bunch of scrap papers. And I'm just going to start just randomly laying them down on that packing tape. No really 
method of doing it, just laying it one on top of another. I like kind of having them ripped. I like the torn edge look of it. And this is all just scrap paper that would have just gotten thrown out in the garbage. And we're gonna incorporate it into a DIY. These are just pieces of scrapbooking paper, pieces out of books. Um, this is a book page. I think I'm gonna do this one. And you wanna cover up as much tape as you can. You don't want any bare tape showing. This is some junk mail that I had. And stick that there. Just work our way down. That's what I mean, this is a really great DIY to do with kids. They'll have lots of fun putting, maybe they could draw a picture and then rip it up into strips and turn it into a bookmark. And you want to make it as just about as long as what you would want for a bookmark. If you can put, you can even put fabric, lace, just use your imagination, put some stuff together. And here's some more junk mail that I've ripped up. I like the look of the words on it. What else have we got here? Got a green piece. And maybe we'll end it with this book page and I'm just gonna rip it along here. Okay, now we're going to get another piece of packing tape and lay it right on top of where that other packing tape is. Cut it off, take a credit card and press it down really firmly. Once you have it really pressed down hard, you can lift that tape up off the table and then trim nicely off all of that extra paper along the side. And you can see how it looks really cool even on the back side. And you can see where the outline is of the tape is so you can cut really even along there. I think that looks pretty good, but it's really long. And it kind of went wonky here. So let's trim it up a bit more. I think I'm gonna trim off right here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take a hole punch and punch a hole in the top. Get a nice piece of ribbon and put it through the top. And we've created a DIY bookmark with some packing tape and scrap paper that would have otherwise ended up in the garbage. How stinking cute is that? Next DIY with packing tape is to use it as a laminator. This is my paint recipe booklet. I don't know if you've been following along, you've seen this booklet. It's all of my favorite paint recipes put together in one downloadable printable booklet that you can get on my Etsy store. If you're a member of my Patreon club or a member of my YouTube channel, make sure you're using your discount code if you wanna pick up this booklet and you haven't yet. But I kind of turned this into a little junk journal and I took some scrapbooking paper and I sealed it up with packing tape. This is one, two, three, four, five strips of packing tape across the front and the back if I'm painting and I have this booklet out and I'm using it and I get a little bit of paint on the front, I can just wipe it off and it's sealed up just like it would be with a laminator. That is a great way to use packing tape, a great little hack. Like I said, if you wanna grab this booklet, it's in my Etsy store, I'll put the link down below in the description and you can check that out. Another way that you can use packing tape is to make your own labels for jars, canisters. These are great in the kitchen. This is a graphic. I have a sheet of five of these in my Etsy store that have all kinds of different food that you can print off and use. And it's printed on my laser jet printer on regular computer paper. Now, unfortunately, this technique will not work with an inkjet printer. It only works with a laser jet printer. So I'm just gonna cut it down to size. I'm gonna take a little bit of some packing tape. 
I usually have a little bread clip that I put on the end of my packing tape so I don't lose the end of it. But for this video, I have lost it and I can't find it. So we're gonna put the packing tape on there and then take our card and press it down really firmly. Press that paper right into that toner from the laser jet printer. And then pick it up. We're gonna trim around the edges. This is just like magic, this technique. I love doing this. And there's so many possibilities with the way that you can label so many things. Okay, and then you're gonna get a dish of water and you're gonna set it in the water, set it down, let it soak for two or three minutes. So while we're doing that, I'll do another one up of rice, get a piece of packing tape, Press it down, push it into that paper really well, peel it off my table, and then cut around the edges. Uh, it's been about five minutes. We're going to take that label out of the water, and then you just start rubbing the back, and the paper is going to rub off. and the toner stays on the packing tape, just like magic. It's, isn't this so neat? And you just take your time and as you're rubbing that paper off, it's gonna stay sticky. Uh, so you're gonna be able to stick this on a jar or a canister or a container after you've rubbed all the paper off. It does take a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but you can get it cleaned up really nice and it's a really fun way to make labels. The toner stays on and you can dip your finger in and rub off the extra paper as you go along and it'll come up really nice and clean as you're doing it. And like I said before, let me know where you're watching from, where you're located in the world, crafting together here. I'd love to find out. And also, I'll mention while we're working away here, uh, if you aren't familiar, I have a graphic club on Patreon. If you're interested and you use a lot of graphics, this is a really great club to belong to. It's ran through Patreon. And the way it works is it's $6.99 a month and you're going to be sent directly to your email every graphic that I upload new in my Etsy store for that month. And you're guaranteed to get at least 20 graphics. For the month of March, everybody that was signed up for the month of March, they actually ended up getting 30 graphics. So it's a really great deal. It's an affordable way to get a lot of graphics at a great price. My graphics in my Etsy store are listed for $2.50. So if you're signed up for this graphic club and you get at least 20 graphics, that works out to 35 cents a piece. And if you get more, it's even cheaper. There's everything in these graphics uh, sent every month from ephemera to photos to motivational quotes. Have a look around my Etsy store and see what my style is like. And you can kind of get an idea of what kind of graphics that you're going to be getting. I'll put the link down in below in the description to my Patreon club. If you're interested in joining, I'd love to have you follow over there. And the graphics are sent out every Friday night at midnight. So you're gonna get them weekly. And by the end of the month, you're gonna have at least 20 graphics, probably more that you can craft with, download onto your computer and uh, print and use just like I would use these ones. So there is how you make labels for containers in your kitchen with packing tape. Here's a glass jar and you can see it sticks right on there. You can peel it off, put it on something else, restick it. This is a fantastic packing tape hack. Okay, here's another fun packing tape hack. DIY stickers. These can be printed off on a laser jet or an inkjet printer. 
and you can create really fun stickers just with packing tape. Now, this is a list of motivational words that are in my Etsy store. I love the font of them. It's kind of like a rustic feel to them. And you're going to cut them all out, have nice edges, and we're gonna turn these into stickers. So I'm just gonna take a second and cut all of these up. Okay, I've got these all cut out. And again, it's one of these DIYs that have so many possibilities and especially great to do with kids. They could do their own art or drawings and you could turn them into stickers. So this is parchment paper. We're gonna lay a piece of tape down on the parchment paper. And I like to use a glue stick just to hold the paper in place. Just put a little bit on the back and then lay it down on the packing tape. Leaving enough room in between each one. And these are also, again, you can, they turn into little stickers that you can put on anything or you can use to your, in your um, junk journaling. You can add them onto greeting cards. So many possibilities. This one is a bit of the end here. It's a bit smaller. So we're gonna use this and nope, I'm gonna have to get another piece of tape. So then what you're going to do is you're gonna get another piece of packing tape, lay it on top, being careful that you want it nice and flat. You don't want any wrinkles in it. And then get a credit card, press it down really firm. I'll turn these ones into stickers a little bit later. And then you're going to cut it off your parchment paper and you wanna leave a little bit around the edges. You don't wanna cut it right to the paper. Make it so it looks nice and neat. And then when you peel away that parchment paper, you've created a sticker. So give this technique a try. Make some DIY stickers with your kids or make them for your DIY projects. These are um, would also be great at Christmas time to add little name tags onto gifts. You could create little stickers. Give it a try. So another great packing tape hack. So there's some really great packing tape hacks. You can use it as a laminator. You can use it to make chippy vintage looking wood. You can turn it into a bookmark. You can make stickers and you can make your own DIY labels. I hope you enjoyed all of today's packing tape hacks. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you're going to love either of these next two. Take care.